Okay, here's a couple of other uh, techniques that you can use. Relationship building, of course, is very important. We can go beyond the typical team project. Uh, we can give them a situation where they need to ask for help or give help. So when you think about this, you don't have to give everyone in the team the same information. You could give different information to different team members. So they have to build a relationship to find out who has more information than the other person and how that relationship goes when they have, say, different departments in a company where accounting has to talk to marketing that has to talk to sales that has to talk to operations well you could set that situation up in your uh, your team projects in addition to that you can also network out in public so you can in Silicon Valley there's a million meetings they can go to uh, to find information and bring that back and create a lesson or make that part of a lesson topic in addition to that, one of my favorites is to have interviews of professionals in the field. You can have students interview and set up interviews, cold call to find out if they can get in there. These are wonderful skills for students to have. There's always fear and trepidation in anybody picking up the phone and talking to someone. Uh, so that's a great thing to overcome for a student. Uh, one student interviewed the local mayor and that led to a job for them, which was awesome. Uh, this often leads to opportunities. It also gets them the confidence and the ability to deal with people that they don't know already know. And that cold call ability is fantastic if you can install it into someone where they're not fearful of, of doing that. Public speaking, they're of course fearful of we already know, but can you imagine the fear of a student picking up the phone and trying to arrange a meeting with the mayor? The ones that can accomplish that are definitely building career success. Flexibility is another one that I really like. I mean, can we imagine any better time in the world to understand that we need to not dig our heels in and find uh, solutions to problems? So we need to practice changing our mind. Now, my wife helps me with practicing changing my mind all the time. So I get help on a regular basis. I'm not sure uh, everyone else does. I'm kidding, obviously. Um, but we have to give them some facts and then add one that changes the something and then they see how they feel about it. Did they dig in their heels? So this is really important to practice because it's, it's so easy to dig in your heels. No, I know what I'm talking about. I know what the deal is. And you change that fact. Did they think through it? You, if you practice changing your mind, you provide them a, with a position and then give them another one that reverses it see if they adapt. Give them facts that don't matter and see if they change again. So you can practice this with uh, all the impact with impact of new information. It's a fantastic way to um, add additional career skills, flexibility, and understanding situations and problems. In reality, when do you uh, the new when does the new information matter? When does it not? That's a wonderful career skill. Clearly, not in our textbooks and not in our uh, vocabulary as professors. Let's keep going on this and see if we can't grow this matrix.